The 4 triple 2 is one of the most popular and most meta formations to use on FIFA 23. If I'm being honest, it's a formation that has got it all. Two center mids, one of them playing as a box to box midfielder. With two center attacking mids helping you on the attack and helping you on the defense at the same time. So today ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to show you the best custom tactics to use with the 4 triple 2 right now on FIFA 23. That got me onto rank 1 on the last weekend league. If you are looking to buy for 23 coins, check out U7 Buy for the cheapest prices out there. Fast delivery, safe, and use the code Y5K to get yourself up to 5% off. Link in the description. Yo, how's it going guys? Y5K, welcome to a new custom tactics video on FIFA 23. On this video, we are taking a look at one of the most meta, if not the most meta formation on FIFA 23. We are taking a look at the 4 triple 2. Now, if I'm being honest with you, I have used the 4 3 2 1, I have used the 4 2 3 1. And I always come back to the 4 triple 2 It's my favorite formation to use on FIFA 23. With these custom tactics and play instructions that I'm going to be showing you today, I have reached rank 1 on the last weekend league. And these custom tactics were absolutely amazing for me in game. Not only that, also we're going to jump into some gameplay on Division Rifle. So I will explain these custom tactics and play instructions for you in game. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, before we jump into the custom tactics, if you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe, drop a like on this video. That will be always appreciated. And now let's jump straight into the custom tactics. Now, as you can see, I use the 4 triple 2, I use the 4 3 2 1, I use the 4 2 4. If you are on high divisions, you know why I'm using all of these. If I'm losing, I switch it to the 4 2 4. If I want to press, I use the 4 3 2 1. Basically, I'm not only using the 4 triple 2, if I'm being honest. But when I start the match, I always start it with the 4 triple 2 and these custom tactics. And if it's going well, I don't change it at all. I always start the match with the 4 triple 2 and these custom tactics. Now, let's jump into the custom tactic and starting things up with the defensive style. I'm going with balance. Balance is the best thing to start a match. Don't go for press after position lost or pressure on heavy touch to start a match. Always start it with balance. Only if you are losing, I recommend you to use press after position loss, which is really good using this formation. That's because you have got two center attacking mids and two center defending mids that will get you the ball quick after you lose it. But like I said, if you want to start the match with the 4 triple 2, always start it with balance for defensive style. Now with I'm going low. I'm going for 38 for width. And for depth, it gotta be high for me. I'm going for 58. Basically, something around 55 to 65. It depends on your play style. Now, for me, I'm going for 60, which is really good for me on this formation. Don't go below 55. In my opinion, you need this formation with high press. You have got two center defending mids, so don't worry about defending and counter attacks. Your center mids will stop any counter attack. You need your depth high, so I recommend using 60 as your depth. And for build up play, I'm going with balance. Fast build up doesn't work with this formation, if I'm being honest. And for chance creating, I'm going with direct passing, which is the way to go on FIFA 23. Direct passing is the best thing to use on FIFA 23 using any formation, in my opinion. Unless you are losing, you can go with forward runs. Forward runs with long ball, if you are losing, it can be. A a really good combo to use on FIFA 23 but to start a match always started with direct passing which is absolutely great to use on FIFA 23. Now for with on the attack I'm going with 40, blaze in the box I'm going with 6, corners and free kick should be 3 or 2. With that being said ladies and gentlemen these are the custom tactics to use with the 4 2 2 Let's move on into the player instructions. Starting things up with the defense your whole defense should stay back while attacking with your right back and left back. Yup your full backs should stay back while attacking they won't help you on the attack that much. You already have a right attack mid and left attack mid that are playing as a right wing and a left wing on the attack. So basically your full backs won't help you on the attack that much and it would be better for you on the defense for your right back and left back to stay back while attacking. Now let's move on into the middle feeders. You have got two center defending mids and two center attacking mids starting off with the CDMs. Now I'm gonna start off with the left center defending mid and right here you need a proper CDM in game. What does that mean is he's gonna stay back while attacking, he won't help you on the attack that much. Make sure you are using a player that has got great defending, physical and base in game. And if he has high defending work rate that would be absolutely perfect. Like I said you need a proper CDM for your left CDM in game. And for his play instructions he should cut passing guys, stay back while attacking, not only that also with cover center. For your right center defending mid right here you need a box to box middle fielder. What does that mean is you need a player that can help you on the attack and help you on the defense at the same time. 
So basically you need a player that has got good all rounded stats and a player that has got high high work rate. And for his instructions he should cut passing lines with Gavasanta. With that he's gonna play as a box to box midfielder. You will see him on the attack and you will see him on the defense at the same time. Now let's move on into the center attacking mid. You have got a right attacking mid and a left attacking mid who's gonna play as a right wing and a left wing on the attack. And they will come back on the defense and play as a right mid and a left wing on the defense. So basically it will be a 4-4-2 formation on the defense. Defense. So your right center attack mid and left center attack mid are really important in game now for the instructions what you have to do is come back on defense not only that also with get into the box for cross for the right attack mid and left attack mid and like I said you need the players that has got good base in game they're gonna play as a right wing and a left wing they will get in behind they will assess and of course they will score goals for you. They are really important using this formation. In my opinion, your right attacking mid and left attacking mid are really important. That because they can help you on the attack and help you on the defense at the same time. They will be always be ready for a counter attack. You will see them always getting in behind and you will see them always assisting your strikers. So what I'm trying to say, if you have extra coins, make sure to spend it on your right attacking mid or left attacking mid. With that being said, this is the Madafida done. Let's move on into the attack. Now right here you have a right striker and a left striker. Now one of them who has got the better base and finishing in game. He should get in behind, stay central and stay forward. For me as you can see it's my left striker. And for your right striker, right here you need a player that has got good dribbling and good passing. Of course with good base and finishing in game. Why is that? That's because your right striker is gonna be a player that will assess your left striker more than score goals for you. Basically, he's gonna be a playmaker in game. He won't be a striker that will get in behind. Your left striker is gonna be the player who will get in behind, and your right striker is gonna be the playmaker who assists your left striker. And of course, you will see him scoring goals for you a lot as well. Now, for the instructions for the right striker, is stay forward only. With that, you're gonna see him coming back and asking for the ball to feed your left striker. And for your left striker, like I said, stay central, get in behind, and stay forward. With that, he's gonna play like a proper striker. He will get in behind, he will score goals. And for your right striker, he's gonna be the playmaker, like I said. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, these are the player instructions and the custom tactics. Before you exit the video, let me explain these custom tactics and player instructions in game. So let's jump into a match on Division Rivals and let me explain these player instructions and custom tactics in game. Let's see who are we playing against. Better check and goal with Roberto Carlos, Kaka, Dembley, Forlan and Brolin on the attack. Come on, let me show you how to build a goal with this formation. Cafu with the ball. As you can see, Rod Hollett is waiting to receive the ball while Potogrino is trying to get in behind. Playing it to Barilla, but that was a bad pass if I'm being honest. As you can see, it's a 4-4-2 formation of the defense. Zambrotto with the ball now, playing it to Mateus. And now to Neymar, Neymar with the ball, Neymar with the step overs, come on with a track to track, coming back for Zamprota. And now to Barilla, playing it to Ruth Hollett, Ruth Hollett with the body fence, with the finish, Roberto Carlos intercepted that, very good if I'm being honest. Come on Cafu, playing it to but Hollett, Hollett now to Botagrino, come on Botagrino. And how did he save that? Okay, that's a lucky goal if I'm being honest. But that should have been a goal from the first shot that Potocrino took. First half is done and if I'm being honest it's a good match. I have to bring on someone. Ruth Hollis has to play as a box to box midfielder. He's not enough. He's not good enough if I'm being honest as a right striker. I was using Johan Cruyff as a right striker but I sold him because his price will go down due to foot birthday. So I'm gonna bring on Gavara as a right striker. And Ruth Hollett as a box to box midfielder, which he is the best at. Ruth Hollett with the ball. Playing it to Cafu. Cafu with the run. Playing it to Raspadori. And now coming back to play it to Gvara. Gvara with the finish. Absolutely great by Gvara. Such an underrated player on FIFA 23. The box to box perfections. Ruth Hollett, the best box to box on FIFA 23. And you can easily see why. Come on, Cafu. Absolutely great by him. Good Hollett with the ball. Zbadori is trying to get in behind. He is with the ball now. Playing as a right wing, like I said. And now coming back to play it to Gvara. Gvara to Botagrino and Botagrino with the finish. Absolutely great goal. 
counter attacks with the 4 triple 2 is absolutely perfect. You have got your right attack mid and left attack mid always ready to go for a counter attack. And this is the match done, like I said ladies and gentlemen, as you saw from the gameplay, it will be a 4-4-2 formation on the defense with absolutely great counter attacks, you can go with the 4 triple 2 with these custom tactics. Like I said, your right striker is gonna be the playmaker, he's gonna be the player that assists your left striker who will always try to get in behind. And as you saw from the gameplay, my right center defending mid is gonna be a box-to-box -box medal feed that you saw Rod Hollett assisting and attacking. And you saw in the first half Barilla, it was Barilla who was playing as a box-to-box -box medal feeder. Now, like I said about this formation, absolutely great for counter attacks. If you want to start the match, always, in my opinion, start it with this custom tactics and play instructions with balance. And if it's going well, don't change it at all. In my opinion, this custom tactics and play instructions with the 4 triple 2 will do the job 100% for you. I highly recommend using these custom tactics on high divisions as well as foot champs. Give it a try and let me know in the comments below how it will turn out for you. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, this is the video done. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe a like and i will see you all in the next video peace